Well, we're busy uh, climbing a mountain here after some uh, rock hyrax or dussies. Um, we're going to be shooting some for the farm workers to eat. Um, but we're about halfway up right now. And uh, 2,000 meters above sea level. Wasn't quite ready for this altitude. I'm huffing and puffing quite a lot. But the worst part is over. There's a bunch of um, pretty thick thorn bushes beneath me which I had to crawl through. And I've got both the uh, 22 rimfire and the air rifle, so it's been a pretty difficult climb. We'll see what happens at the top. I made it to the top in one piece, and the view was worth every minute spent climbing. From the ridge, I could see the farmyard that I'd be doing a pest removal job on over the following day or two, but my focus was on the task at hand. So we're going to be going after rock hyrax today, or dussies as they're called in this part of the world. They are small little animals that live in very rocky, mountainous places. Wherever you see boulders with crevices like the ones behind me here, they are very likely to be dussies. There must be millions in this country. In fact, it's very possible that they outnumber the humans. In areas like this where it gets very cold at night, often down to negative 10 degrees Celsius in the winter, you'll actually see these animals emerge in the morning when the sun starts coming out. You'll see them just lying flat on the rocks. They're trying to get some sun. And that's when you've got to take them. There's two rifles I've taken with me today, the first one being my Air Arms S510 Extra FSC in 177 calibre and a very old Mauser 22 rimfire. If there's any long shots that I'm uncertain about, I'll use the rimfire, but anything closer than 40 meters, I'm very happy using the air rifle because I know it can deliver pinpoint accuracy. These little animals consume about 20% what the goats graze on, so keeping their numbers down allows the farmer to keep more goats on the land. I keep walking along the ridge, trying to find a good shooting position and soon spot a face peering out from behind a bush. Now I want to take my shot as quickly as possible because I know that these animals can spook very easily. I take an offhand shot from about 20 to 25 meters and I hit him hard. Yes! Woo! I walk over to retrieve the animal and find him lying exactly where he was hit. So here's our first dussy and I'm very very happy with the shot. It entered right here between the ear and the eye, so perfect placement straight through the brain and exited between the ear and the eye on the other side. Um, so if anyone had any doubts about the penetration of a 177 caliber air rifle, you can throw those darts straight out the window. This is quite a tough animal to kill. Um, you have to go for the headshot because um, if you try and go for the heart, even if you hit it straight in the heart, they still have enough energy to run down their holes and you'll never ever find them. So it's got to be a headshot, especially with an air rifle. We're going to take this back home and uh, I'm sure the workers will be pretty happy to have a meal. Upon close inspection here, you can see that the Hyrax is a pretty strange animal. Another local name for it here is a rock rabbit. But its closest relative is actually the African elephant, believe it or not. For my North American friends, I would compare these little guys to rock chucks. Different family, but similar behavior. I'm determined to get another one, so I keep looking. I know there are probably well over a hundred on this mountain alone, but I also know that I have to be very patient as they spend most of their lives underneath the rocks. You can get a good idea of how many there are in a particular area by the amount of droppings you find. I am soon rewarded with another opportunity when this guy positions himself nicely for me. It's quite a long shot, but I take the conditions into consideration and I pull the trigger. Got him. Yes! Woo! Woo! It's quite a far way out as well, check. Very nice. Right, so we've got Dusty number two. He'd fallen down amongst the rocks, but Lucky sniffed him out and we found him. I see he's also bleeding from the ears, which means we got a very good headshot on him as well. There was a bit of a crosswind on this one, so I just held um, half a mill dot for the wind and and nailed him right between the eyes. I get another opportunity on a potential number three, but he has another agenda. I guess you can't have them all, right? So we've been up a good couple hours or so, but I think we're going to call it a day. After those first two shots, uh, I haven't seen much activity at all. Um, probably because of all that shouting I did after the first shot. The wind's starting to pick up quite a lot now and uh, it's making things pretty difficult, so uh, I think we're going to head back down and get some lunch. And that is all for today's episode, but stay tuned because I have some very exciting hunting videos coming up that will absolutely blow your socks off. Hit subscribe to be notified of my uploads and I'll see you then.